Hello beautiful people, what's popping in the streets? It's your girl Nobia Silva and I'm back with another video. So today we are going to be talking about camming. Uh, being a webcam girl, being a cam girl and yeah how my experience has been even though I've only been doing it for a week dude. So um, grab your drink, um, we're not smoking today but we're having like a little bit of wine and orange juice because I'm actually gonna cam after this. So I'm just like preparing myself, you know what I'm saying? So how's it been? How did the camming thing start? Like where did I get the idea to start camming from? So basically I was like, you know what? Like OnlyFans is great and all, but like it's a bit slow and I have a lot more time on my hands. So I thought if there was another platform that I could use that is reliable or even more reliable than OnlyFans, that would be amazing because the more income streams the better in my opinion i just need to be like really i need to get better at balancing out my life but that's like fucking every day of my whole existence so <laughs> i'm constantly trying to improve my balancing and my time management in general I decided i was gonna do the research like about maybe a month ago um i don't know what brought me to just like check out what the cam girls on YouTube were saying, you know, I don't know what called me to do that, but um, yeah, I watched a vlog or two and I was like, okay, that's interesting. Um, but then I started looking at like the babies that don't have as many views because I found that the other videos were quite sensationalized and they weren't really giving like information. Um, so yeah, then I went on to other YouTube, um, other YouTubers' videos. Um, and then I got like good information. I will put the video that I watched, the best one that I watched over here, just so you get like a good sense of what I was like. Which no, I have to do this. I have to do this, dude. Like, what am I doing? I have to. Uh, also, she made it seem like it was super easy to withdraw money and all of these things. So I was like, I need to check if this is what it is. So. <laughs> I wasn't nervous really I wasn't nervous like going into camming like I knew I was gonna do it and if anything like I needed like other people around me to validate me I think that's what happened like I started feeling a bit insecure because dude you know when you know what you're meant to be doing you know what you're capable of yes maybe like there's like majority of the people around you who wouldn't necessarily do what you're doing but like no one is getting hurt like you're not hurting yourself yeah dude like i was just starting to like forget like bitch how bad i was like literally this whole week i forgot how bad i was like it's so weird it's so strange um but i'm back you know what i'm saying um we now fast forward to me signing up so i had to do my id situation and i don't know why i did my id because in my um, OnlyFans video, I said that if you want to verify your OnlyFans, your identif uh, identification, you should use your passport. So I forgot about that and I used my South African ID and I was like, oh, it didn't work. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'll try it again. And I procrastinated for another week. Then I was like, bitch, 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 I want money. So. <laughs> I was like, okay, let me check what these people are saying on this website. I entered the website, put my passport. Within an hour, dude, like less than an hour, I was verified. So I was able to work the minute I verified my shit. Whereas with OnlyFans, um, it takes like seven days or something. Like two, three days. It takes three days. Um, the verification happened like within an hour so i was able to work that same day that i signed up which i was like dude procrastination is a bitch so now i've signed up and um i put my makeup on i do the most and now i'm feeling myself um yeah i'm feeling myself <laughs> i'm feeling myself and now it's time to um broadcast for the first time do i not get scammed like immediately but i learned very quickly how not to get scammed um i made how much did i make in my first day 600 tokens which is about like 30 dollars 
um, and that took me like seven hours because I really was just like enjoying myself talking to the people I was trying to be as nice as possible basically just get a sense of the room um, and yeah it was good it was great I was so happy I was like shit let me do it again so I did it again then I made more money dude I made more money and I was like okay 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 dude let's 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 think about how we're gonna structure this situation but um, as I was like doing the work I didn't notice like I didn't realize how much physical labor um, I was putting myself through I really didn't it didn't it didn't um, clock and it only took me like two days to be like fully exhausted dude so I burnt myself out basically um, and then I had to like now readjust <laughs> my body back and I was like okay now that I know what my limits are let's just get this shit together let's get our lives um, now that we know that this can actually be like a month like I can get paid per month doing this shit so now that I know that I don't need to be crazy about the way that I'm working let me try balance out my life because I actually have other shit that I need to do. So that took me about a week to figure out, like five days to figure out. Um, even as I'm like talking about this, I'm being very hard on myself for burning out because I'm, I'm focused on what other people have to say, but I don't give a fuck. It took me two days to figure out like what my boundaries are. Um, and that's better than like figuring it out two weeks in advance and then having to like take a month off you know what i'm saying so shout out to me camming is my new grind your girl is a cam girl like fully fledged that's my shit like i'm fully within the financial dominatrix thing dude and i'm so fucking happy dude like if i can get to a point where i have a full dominatrix like persona um i'll be so happy I'll be so happy because I feel like I'll be able to express myself fully um, and the only like cons to I'd say camming and financial like dominatrix uh, stuff is it's giving me flashbacks to excuse me it's giving me flashbacks to when I was doing hair and interacting with a lot of people and like people are different you know what I'm saying people are different so like oh god I'm gonna have to go back in today's been shit um, I'm gonna have to balance out my life better um, I don't know what the fuck I was saying <gasps> So yeah, basically, I'm a cam girl and I'm very happy about it. I would say the one con of camming and financial dominatrix work in general is that I need to be 100% in my brain. Everything needs to be 100% because I deal with a lot of people and obviously there's a lot of toxicity and I think um, it has a tendency to be a, a a, a, a triggering environment so I really need to create boundaries in regards to my schedule and um, yeah everything that I do moving forward from today um, so just like a young like what's gonna be happening on my channel I'm going to Cape Town tomorrow I'm super excited very nervous because um, we're going into level two and I'm very like the anxiety within me is a bit lit it's a lot it's a lot but I'm hoping that um, this trip to Cape Town will be like refreshing and renewing um, I'll just come back feeling like a better bitch <laughs> um, and I think I also want to like prioritize rest as much as I can like maintain like I basically just want to maintain everything that I've been doing in Joburg positively like all the positive aspects of my life I just want to maintain that in Cape Town how am I doing in general anxiety is high babes anxiety is high um, I am very 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 grateful that the universe is finally giving me a financial break I've been broke I've been broke for a very long time 
Um, I've been struggling for a very long time, but that is changing. Um, yeah, dude, I have so much to be grateful for, so I'm really trying my best to focus on just the positivity around me and how far I've come. <laughs> so yeah, dude, thank you for watching my video. Let me know if you have any cam go like questions. How do I feel about the fact that this is like a financial like uh, financial dominatrix channel? I love it. I love it. Okay. Shout out to my 204 subscribers. I was I was dying when I saw 200. I was like, dude, we're out here. No, I'm out here. No, no, I'm out here. I'll see you in my next video. Um, yeah. Bye.